The recycled portion of the EV market has been a point of discussion for a long time. Consumers have always wondered, where will all the batteries go to at the end of life, or when they become scraps? Issues surrounding critical materials such as lithium, nickel and cobalt have remained persistent because they are important in greater quantities as a transition to EVs. Well, electric vehicle battery recycler Redwood Materials has provided an update from its California EV battery recycling program. The company recently reported that it has hit 95% recovery rate in a world first used EV battery collection and recycling program. Hello friends and welcome to The Electrochemist. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. On this channel, we discuss all things battery development, including existing batteries, new and emerging battery systems, battery supply chain, battery production, and battery application. If this is something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel, smash the like button, and keep watching. Today, we will be discussing something very dear to my heart, and that is battery supply chain, as it relates to the recycling. Specifically, we will be focusing on a company, Redwood Materials. Redwood Materials was founded in 2017 by Tesla co-founder and former Chief Technical Officer J.B. Strobel. The company launched its California EV battery recycling program in February 2022 to develop pathways for end-of-life battery packs to be disassembled, broken down, and recycled by a process known as non-extractive mining. The goal of this process was to achieve the extraction of valuable materials like lithium and nickel from used batteries as this will be a more cost-effective approach than traditional mining, which would ultimately pave the way for a circular economy. Redwood has been recycling battery packs for a few years now. However, the goal of the Californian pilot program was not only to prove the recycling technology, but also develop a system of collection and delivery. The company initially partnered with Ford, Volvo, Toyota, Volkswagen, Amazon and Lyft but it has encouraged other automakers to join this program, saying it will accept all lithium ion and nickel metal hydride batteries. The company says its Californian pilot is the largest of its kind anywhere in the world. Right over the border from Redwoods, Nevada HQ is California, the largest and most mature electric vehicle market in America, which gives Redwood easy access to many aging hybrid and electric car battery packs for recycling. During the first 12 months of the Californian pilot program, Redwood says it has collected 1,268 end-of-life battery packs totaling around 500,000 pounds or 227 tons from different BEV and hybrid models. The company was able to extract over 95% of the metals from the used battery packs, which included lithium, cobalt, nickel, and copper. Redwood already processed six gigawatt hours of lithium ion batteries annually. This is the equivalent of 60,000 EVs, which the company says is currently most of the recycled lithium ion batteries in North America. Well, what makes this achievement significant? You see, the great thing about electric vehicles is that the energy needed to power them can come from completely renewable resources, unlike petrol and diesel, which require oil to be constantly extracted and burned to provide energy. This means if effective end-of-life battery recycling processes can be developed and the materials involved can enter a closed-loop recycling system, which will dramatically reduce the need for mining once the world's fleet is fully battery electric. Therefore, the fact that Redwood achieved over 95% efficiency in recovering important metals is amazing because this is an incredibly high efficiency, especially compared to the 0% recycling efficiency of gasoline. So what does the future hold for this company? and should we invest in it? Well, Redwood's strategy for the future is to partner directly with automakers because this will increase safety and efficiency, help to keep costs down and improve competitiveness of US recycled materials when compared to freshly mined ones. Apart from its initial partners, the company has partnered with other automakers such as Audi and has a new deal with Panasonic to use the recycled batteries as feedstock to produce up to 100 gigawatt hours equivalent of high nickel cathode materials by 2025, enough to produce cathodes for 1 million electric vehicles. Redwood Materials also aims to manufacture copper foils for lithium ion battery anodes. The company doesn't only accept electric vehicle battery packs through its partnership with Audi, it accepts batteries from old phones, laptops, etc. This obviously broadens opportunities for partnerships and revenue generation. 
Interestingly, Redwood says its recycling process is already profitable for smaller batteries like those in cell phones and laptops or when used uh, for production waste batteries. It, it anticipates that the same will be true once EV battery packs become available for recycling at scale. Finan financially, the company received a conditional commitment of $2 billion in funding from the US Department of Energy and is planning to construct other battery recycling plants in other parts of the US. So what about investing in this company? Unfortunately, you technically, you technically cannot invest in Redwood Matures right now because it is not publicly traded and there is no IPO date set at as for now. However, an IPO is said to be forthcoming in the next few years and when stocks are available, Redwood Materials shares are certainly one to buy. As EV demand grows, we will see end-of-life battery packs also grow significantly in the coming years. So it is great to see companies like Redwood getting ahead of the curve to develop not only the recycling technology, but also the collection and delivery systems that are vital to the success of a truly circular economy when it comes to battery recycling. However, I would certainly like to know your thoughts. So, do you think Redwood will be the leader in battery recycling? And is it one to invest in? Let me know in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your support by smashing the like button. Share this video and make sure to subscribe to this channel. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next.